Okay, okay. Hey guys, so this week we are going to be making a super cute little travel mug. Um, I haven't made this before, um, before I did this model, and I'm super excited to show you guys because I think it's so cute and so fun to make. So go ahead and make a new scene, and then you're going to be making a cylinder. So this cylinder, I'm going to make it, um, you can leave the radius be one and then do the height as like four and then do five height divisions. You can leave the um, axis as 20 and then you can just move it to the ground by changing the Y to two. Okay. And then go ahead and we're going to be scaling these bottom vertices. This is going to be like our, our mug basically. So just scale your bottom couple rows of vertices to um, be a little bit smaller because um, mugs tend to taper in a little bit. So just hold control while you drag in. Super small segments. Not a lot at all. Then you can scale up a couple of these guys if you want. Okay. That looks good. Next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to um, extrude the faces from the middle. So like right here. If you just click and then double click, you can select the whole ring. We're going to be extruding those. So control E. And then do the thickness like, like 0.1 probably, or like 0.07, very small. That's supposed to be like the paper wrapping that goes around the cup, so very small. If you press three, you'll see like it, it shouldn't be that much. Obviously we'll, we'll bevel it and stuff so it doesn't go into the mesh like that. Um, but okay, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and um, go into, uh, oh no, first thing we need to do is just hollow out the cup. So, select the top faces, delete, go into object mode, and then you're going to extrude, control E, and let's change the thickness to like 0.13. That's a good thickness for a cut. All right, so go into wireframe mode, select those inside faces, since now we have an inside and an outside for the faces, and then go ahead and click W and just pull them up probably to about there. That way we have a little more distance between those guys. You can go out of wireframe mode now and let's select these bottom faces, do extrude, and offset them by like 0.1. And then you can extrude again and just push up the bottom faces a little bit. Maybe like there. You know how coffee cups are where they have a little lip on the inside. All right, I like how that looks. So uh, next thing we just need to do is bevel those edges. So go into edge mode. Let's select these edges first, holding shift to get all of them. Control B is bevel, do two segments, and then go ahead and click three to see how it's gonna look. I think that looks pretty good for that part. And then click these edges and bevel those as well. Let's see how that's going to look. Okay, good. And then do the bottom edge. Two segments as always. And click three, go into object mode. And you can kind of see how it's going to end up looking. All right, I like how that's looking. So next thing we just need to do is make the lid. So let's go ahead and make a new cylinder bring that cylinder up to here and then we're just going to um, make the height like one so it's pretty short and then you can make it have five height divisions and then I would say take these top two rows of vertices those guys make sure you got them all and then scale them or move them either one um, to be a little bit shorter. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to bring them down so that the lid's a little bit shorter. I like that. And then um, we're going to go ahead and scale out. Actually, let's go to front mode for this. 
That way we can get exact. Go ahead and scale those three, click R, um, and hold control, and then scale outward, and then click W and push up. So that'll be the beginning of some of our lid. Um, I think if you press three, you can kind of look how it'll turn out. We'll bevel some of the edges too, so it won't look as wonky. Um, but I think that's a good size for our lid. So next thing you're going to be doing, go into face mode and delete these faces because it is technically hollow. And then do object mode and control E for extruding. And then make the thickness um, like 0.13. That looks good. Okay, so next thing that we can do is we can go through and bevel all of those edges. Um, that way we don't have any issues with it. Um, I think first what I want to do is select the, go into face mode, select the top faces, extrude them, and offset them by like 0 0.2 or 0 0.5, 0 0.2 around there. And then extrude again and push them into the mesh like 0.1. Since usually on the top of coffee cups, they have that little like place uh, dug into the, the lid. Um, and then next, let's just go ahead and bevel all the edges. So go into edge mode, select your edges, control B is bevel, two segments. If you like how it's looking at 0.5, then you can just leave it like that. Um, totally up to you. Kind of like the way it rounds out right now. Yeah, actually that, that I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Um, I would maybe bevel this inside edge since that is a 90 degree angle. So just give it two segments so that it's, you know, yeah, something like that. And then I would do the same with this one out here. Just two segments, something easy. I would make this one a little bit smaller. Yeah, maybe 0.15. Okay, so that's basically going to be... The top of our lid. I think I'm also going to go ahead and bevel th these top two edges because that's where the little hole is going to go where you drink from. So we kind of need that to be a little more flat like that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and bevel this edge too just to make it even. Might as well. Um, actually, I want my fraction to be smaller. Two. Small. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. I like that. So, for the hole, what we have to do, it gets a little complicated. We haven't done this tool before, and it's called Boolean. So, it's a little complicated. So I'm just going to show you and then hopefully that kind of describes what the tool does. So first thing, we need a second object to basically make the hole. So our hole is going to basically be a cylinder. So just make a cylinder, drag it up here, click R, scale it down a ton to be like the size of the hole that um, you drink from. And then you're gonna position it I'm going to scale it so that it's like more like that. Yeah. And then you can just push it into the mesh so that it intersects it like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then you do want to have it a little bit higher, not a ton, but like maybe like right there is good. Um, and then go into wireframe mode and you need it to go completely through the lid so that it fully makes a hole. So you see how we can't even see it yet? That means it's not big enough. So we wanna scale it so that you see it coming through. See it now? Go ahead and push it down. So like that's how short it can be basically because it's gotta go all the way through so we can fully see it. So a little bit bigger until you can see it at the top. Just, just scale it until it looks correct. Okay, that should hopefully work out. Also, I'm realizing that I think I need to bevel this inside edge. Yeah, I do. 
Don't forget to bevel that inside edge. Very important. Did I miss any other edges? No. Okay, that looks good. Make sure three is pressed on when you do this, okay? So select your lid, then hold shift and select your cylinder. Next, we're going to mesh booleans and click on difference. Okay, <laughs> this is where it's gonna get a little weird. So when you click it, it actually deletes your cylinder because it's the difference of where the two connect. So it should have gone completely through to make a hole for you. Um, hopefully, if not, I don't really know how to fix it because this is a really complicated function that like only works in some situations. Also, if you press three again, it does that. Okay, so I would just leave it. Um, it doesn't look that chunky or anything. So I would just do that. Um, you can scale the lid as much as you need to in order to fit your mug. But basically next, you just drag the lid down on top of your mug and that's it. So um, I think I'm gonna call it there. If you guys have any questions about the weird Boolean feature, let me know. Um, I think that if you don't like it being this uh, low polygon, then before you put the cylinder in, do a ton of multi-cuts or mesh smooth. That will give you a ton more cuts and it'll make your um, object really smooth. So for example, if I was to do mesh smooth on this guy, it gives it a ton more multi-cuts, but it's a high polygon count. Um, unfortunately, if we do it on this one, then it makes our circle a little wonky. <laughs> so um, don't, don't do it now, but if you wanna go through and fix it, then that's, that's basically how you would do it. Um, but yeah, so I would just say play around with it. If you're not getting the, um, the product that you want and you need some help, um, let me know and I can try and help you out. Um, I like problem solving, so the, the more complicated the problem, the better. <laughs> um, just make sure that you scale your object accordingly and that it looks like it fits on there. Um, you can also combine the meshes by selecting both of them in object mode and then doing mesh combine, but you don't have to. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. If you guys like this tutorial, let me know in the comments below. And um, if you have any questions, also leave me a message and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're making next. Bye guys.